guys! In this video, I'm going to be talking about hair removal. So I'm talking about things you can do and things you can use that will help you get rid of that unwanted body hair and get you ready for the beach and the summer. So the first and most obvious product that everybody knows about when it comes to hair removal is shaving. So remember when you do shave, you have to use a shaving gel just to keep your skin protected and moisturized while you shave because you are scratching the surface of your skin so it could irritate your skin. So just remember to buy shaving cream when you do buy a razor. Another option if you don't want to buy the razor and the shaving gel is to buy this. So what this is, it's like a razor that includes this um, moisturizing ring. So when you shave, this part will come off while you shave. So it's kind of like a two-in-one product. The good thing about this is you can just buy the new head so you don't have to repurchase the whole thing. The next thing I'll be talking about is waxing. These are at home waxes and you can just, oh my gosh, this is so hard. You can just buy them at the store. Ugh. And so it's really goopy inside. Um, this one smells really nice. Some of the packets you'll buy will come with these and then some of them won't. So you have to find which ones will or you have to buy this extra on the side because if not you'll just have wax on your hand and you'll have no way of taking it out. It says it perfectly adheres to hair short as two millimeters so there's no waiting for regrowth and it removes hair from the roots. So that's what it says. For me it didn't. I still had hair left when I used this wax but I mean it gets most of it out but just not all of it. The next thing I'll be talking about is these. So these mechanical goodies are basically electric razors. These are really good. The thing is, like a razor, they scratch the surface so they're not really going down and pulling out the root like waxing would do. Um, I really like this one specifically because it gets into those nooks and crannies, those small areas that you do want to get rid of the hairs. This one, not so much. I don't, I've never really used it. I bought it maybe a year ago and I've probably used it twice. But I'm not a huge fan. It gets the job done. Again, it scratches the surface and I find that it just takes a little bit more time because the blades are not on the outside, so it's not as sharp as a razor. And the next product I'm going to be talking about is this monster. This is an epilator and for you guys who don't know, it's like many, many, many tweezers stuck into a machine that basically pulls out all your hair from the roots. It is horrible and it hurts, but it is one of the most effective ways to get hair off. Well, for me at least. I don't like seeing that five o'clock shadow, which you'll get if you shave because, like I said, it's not taking out the roots. So you'll still have the hair underneath your skin and you'll still kind of see it poke out a little bit. With epilating, you won't have that because you're pulling it from the roots, just like waxing. It's just, I prefer epilating. I just find it lasts a lot longer and it works better for me. Um, so basically, it's just tons and tons of tweezers and this thing will constantly rotate around and it opens and closes so it's like ripping out all your hair, it's like pulling at it when it goes in a circle and it hurts. I'm going to repeat that so many times in this video. It and hurts. the last product I'm going to be talking about, well I guess it's not really a product, but um, it's more like a service, is laser hair removal. So many people nowadays have gone through laser hair removal. It's just one of those things that you don't ever have to worry about hair again for a while and it's just easy but the thing is it's very costly so my recommendation for you is if you are deciding to go with laser hair removal just take that free consultation with your dermatologist it's really important and it's really helpful to find out what kind of laser works best for you what kind of skin you have what kind of hair you have and talk to your dermatologist ask her tons of questions when I met for my consultation I had so many questions for her. I was like what kind of hair do I have like what kind of laser would be best for me? Why is this laser best for me? What will this do? How often do I need to come visit? The consultation I found was really helpful and most places will have a free consultation when you set up an appointment. Another thing to keep in mind when you are setting up consultations or looking for a place is do a lot of research. There's some places that are not as good as others and I find when it comes to laser hair removal it's very important to know which ones are good like which companies and which companies are using what kind of machines like do some research take that extra time to research what areas and what places are good for you find a good place 
talk to your dermatologist and set up that consultation. It's super important, plus it's super so helpful. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and I hope it kind of gave you an idea of the different kind of products that are out there. Obviously there's so much more out there that I haven't talked about. Like I know there's this one that's like a cream that you put on and you can just wipe off and your hair comes off. So yeah, there's tons out there. Um, these are just the ones that I've tried, so this is what I chose to talk to you about. And so hopefully you like this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Speaking of hair removal, my best friend got a haircut. Look how handsome he is. I'm boring him.